Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of the Subdivisions of America. Today we're talking about our last territory. Yeah, America has five main territories that we're talking about in this series, even though it has a, a whole lot more, which we'll talk about the other smaller ones, the ones that are barely inhabited. We will get to those at some point on this channel. I really want to cover them, but we'll, we'll get to it when the time comes. Maybe sometime this year. I don't know. We'll find out. Anyways, today we're talking about the last territory in alphabetical order of the main five. The U.S. Virgin Islands. So the official name is the Virgin Islands of the United States. Closest sovereign country is the Dominican Republic. Number of counties? Well, it's actually divided up into two districts, according to my research. Uh, the capital is Charlotte Amali. Its current territorial status is unincorporated and organized, again, like how I've been saying. We will discuss what those mean in a future video. It was acquired on March 31st of 1917. How did we acquire it? Well, we bought it from Denmark for $25 million. Yeah, because there are apparently... Nowadays, there are two sets of Virgin Islands. You have the British Virgin Islands, which is the one which we don't care about. And we have the U.S. Virgin Islands, which is the one we're talking about here. And the one that's a little bit more important, but still kind of not really important. Population is roughly about 105,870. Average income per capita is about $36,350. Current governor is Albert Bryan, who is a Democrat. Uh, congressional districts, they have one at-large delegate, like how I've been saying. All the territories, except for Puerto Rico, have delegates because, you know, they're not states, which means that they attend all the congressional meetings, but they can't vote, which is either the best job in the world or the worst job in the world, depending on who gets it. Uh, the delegate... Ship for the Virgin Islands was established on January 3rd of 1973. And some famous people that are from Port uh, the Virgin Islands are people that include... Well, according to my research, I was able to get two. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we have Alexander Hamilton. Yeah, I know he was kind of born in uh, St. Kitts and Nevis. <laughs> But he actually spent some of his childhood in what is now the modern-day Virgin, U.S. Virgin Islands. And one of Mexico's famous generals and one of their controversial leaders slash dictator, which led to the Mexican Civil War and Mexican Empire and the Texan Revolution and the Mexican-American War, Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana. Yeah, we'll talk about the Mexican-American War in a future video on this channel. I really want to cover every single war on this channel, but that's a time for, you know, that's a video for another time. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. S stay tuned tomorrow, which we will talk about our final episode of the series. Yeah, I know we're about done. Just one more day. Uh, we're going to talk about Washington, D.C. tomorrow. It's kind of like a little bonus for you. Nah, I totally planned it. Alright, we'll see you tomorrow.